This desolate camp was once a hub of activity. Camp X-Ray was built in the early 80s. Originally, the government used it to hold delinquent migrants working at Naval Station Guantanamo Bay. From 1994 to 1996, Camp X-Ray was used as a part of Operation Sea Signal, when over 50,000 Haitian and Cuban migrants sought out both political and economic asylum. Enemy combatants captured during United States operations in the global war on terror were brought here to Camp X-Ray in January of 2002. They were held here until Camp Delta opened a few months later in April 2002. When Camp X-Ray emptied out, it housed approximately 300 detainees. No electronic locks were used in Camp X-Ray. Basic manual lock and key mechanisms were used to secure both the gates and the doors to the cells. This central guard tower was used by the guard force to view all internal activities of the camp. If there was a disturbance or emergency inside the camp, the guard in this tower could immediately notify the rest of the guard force. These two buildings housed the camp's commandant and the administrative section. This main alley is the site of Camp X-Ray's first photographs and notorious images. Here and the road were the only authorized areas for any media personnel to take photos or video. When the detainees arrived, everyone wore the same orange suit. Now they're dressed according to compliancy. Green tarps were placed throughout the perimeter of the camp to prevent any unauthorized pictures. The tarps also blocked the hot sun and protected them from the weather. This cinder block structure housed shower units for the detainees. These open stalled showers were a major problem for both detainees and non-governmental organizations because religiously guided principles encourage modesty among the detainee population. From the beginning, the U.S. military guard forces have made cultural and religious sensitivity a priority. For example, foot hand washers were installed inside Camp X-Ray, allowing detainees to participate in ritual washing during prayer time. Though both the original cell blocks and the later additions consisted of 8x8 eight eight cells, the original structures had no plumbing, bean holes, or gravity pipes. Detainees housed in these cells were issued two buckets, one for fresh water and the other for use as a toilet. The toilet bucket was often used as a weapon against the Camp X-Ray guard staff. In 2001, Camp X-Ray updated the cells with bean holes and gravity pipes for urination. This allowed the guard force to pass food and restrain enemy combatants through the door prior to opening the cell. This reduced in any threat posed by an unrestrained detainee. Upon arrival, all detained enemy combatants were screened for any possible medical conditions. Anticipating battle wounds, infections, mild forms of TB, and other various ailments, the Marine Corps Hospital inside Camp X-Ray operated 24 hours a day, observing the physical health of detainees. This hospital was equipped with X-Ray machines, MRI scanners, and other equipment used to help diagnose medical conditions.